Hello, this is Kes Blue, and welcome back to more Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Last time, we hunted, we ended up sort of accidentally hunting down a whole lot of summon tablets, and a genie or two. This time, well, I think we're probably doing fewer summon tablets, but we're still doing lots of genies. Well, I mean, I say that, I mean, that's more of an assumption than a plan, if I'm being totally honest. Um, I have, I mean, I have my list of Ginny, but I also have a list of places I want to visit, so I'm more or less going to just look at my Ginny list after I visited everywhere to see if I missed anything, which it, I think I probably won't. It's not really likely, but you know, that that's pretty much the plan. Where the hell am I going? Where, where am I actually going? I'm totally lost. Is there a genie? Oh! I saw it! I saw it! I know where I'm going! Don't, don't do that. Actually attack in an intelligent manner, please. I mean, if it, I was doing it intelligently, I wouldn't have attacked that guy with Jenna, but you know, whatever. Okay, just a sec. Okay, okay, I'm done. Yeah, that's totally where I want to go, and I don't actually, really? Wow. Just really. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, you know what? I'll meet you at the ship, which is over here. See you in a minute. And we're back, and we're flying, which is nice because because just screw random encounters, pretty much. I mean, okay. Like here's the thing: you want to make sure you don't avoid too many random encounters, otherwise you will become under level. But I'm not really concerned about that because we're actually getting really close to the part of the game where it gets really easy to level grind. Wait, is that where I actually want to go? You know... How the hell do I get there? From way... by going way up this river is how. Wow, okay. Well, let's do it. I mean, I, there's no random encounters on the river, so I'll just do it this way. I mean, flying would be a little bit faster, but it would... Can I... Oh yeah, I can totally go over there. Hmm. Was there anything there that I wanted to backtrack for? You know, don't worry about it. I'm not doing that right now. No, we are going to... Wait, did I take a... No, no, this is right. We're going here. That was a little bit close to the village. Whatever. Is there a thing here? I mean, that doesn't actually really... You know, just, just use scoop. Scoop! Nope, nothing here. In that case, use Cyclone. Ooh, there's a ladder there! But, but how do I- oh. Oh, that's how. Tr pretty tricksy! And what's in here? It's, uh, star- that's forgeable, right? Oh, well, Piers is that No, yeah. Piers is out of room for- I guess I can give lucky medals to someone else. Not Felix, but someone else. Here, Garrett. No, not you. You already have a job. Here, my- wait. Ivan? Sure. You take these. Also take my game tickets. There we go. Basically, the back row is for slave labor. And one boss. Well, no, let's be fair. Two bosses. There are two bosses where I will definitely be using my back row for. Um, spoiler alert, one of them is the boss, boss of the game. And the other one, well, you'll just have to wait and see for that. There was a giant explosion on the rock on the other night. I couldn't get back to sleep at all! Reveal! Ooh. Oh, so just lucky metal. Man, I don't care. I have four of these, well five now. And frankly, they don't... By the time I actually go back to Lemuria to cash them in, they're probably not going to give me equipment that's better than what I already have. I mean, I might get lucky with a few pieces of armor, but weapon-wise, there's no weapon I get from Lemuria that will be, be that will be superior to what I already have. Maybe there will be one or two things that are equivalent at best. And yeah, pretty much. Uh, okay, where the hell is the thing I want? Uh... Okay, just a sec. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, we're back. Uh, I believe it should be... Where the hell is it? Isn't it, like, here? Let's look. When you have the power of Oh yeah, it's right here. Magma Rock! Which I'm just sort of rushing to, because this is... Guess what? This... Spoiler alert! We're gonna get a syn synergy from the fourth elemental rock, just like the first three. But we can't actually enter here. Can we even reach here without fl fl the flying ship? I don't know. But we can't enter here without, uh, lift. No, not cure poison, lift. Like so. Neat. Ooh, that's cool. Wait. Oh, I'll grab that, but... Oh, it was a mimic. That actually startled me. I should have really known better, though. Let's use... Thunderbolt. And let's use... Eruption! And let's use Hail Prism! And let's use... I mean, Thor Flu Match is so much better than Bri Briar. But then again, Death Plunge is better than whatever the hell I told Felix to use, so... Eh, why not? <laughs> Isaac is not really statted for offensive synergy. It's worth saying. I mean, I guess no one really... No one in this party really is. Oh, another reason Isaac should be in the middle is because he has such high luck, he actually has pretty decent status immunity. Or at least status resistance. So he should really probably be taking advantage of it, but he isn't. You know, just use good ones. Um... Shine Plasma. And... Boom Edge. Actually, Shuriken is respectable. Do you know, I just... I hit those with three different wind synergy, and it's clearly resisting wind, so I don't know what I was thinking there, but you know, whatever. Blue Edge works. At this point, I can probably just do this, and it will go down. Yep. And I got an apple. Awesome. Apple. Use on yourself. Oh, that was only plus six. Man, the last one was plus ten. You're slacking there, Apple. Uh, right. Probably climbing up. Traditionally, I need to climb to the top of the damn thing before I can do anything productive inside. Of course, in fairness, in the case of Air's Rock, that was pretty much because I needed to climb to the top to get inside, but with the other two ones, it actually wor sort of worked that way. Burst! will cause this to do a thing. Check it out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It would make it would sort of make sense if we could do that from a range, but I can also understand why they wanted to limit that. And it and it makes a, cl a clever puzzle mechanic. So, you know, it works out. Man, that Sword has a really high unleash rate. I mean, Felix's luck isn't all that high either. In fact, I'm pretty sure he has a luck reduction from his class. Yeah, he only has 5 luck. He probably... Well, he's tied with Garrett on the lowest, but Garrett is Garrett, so... Fire adepts are generally really bad at, at being lucky. And Garrett especially. Garrett is like the 8... the ultimate atypical fire adept in several regards. What would happen if I walked right in front of this? Hmm. I mean, I can't do anything like that, so... Sure, let, let's let's give it a shot. Um, who the hell at you do? Just please don't kill me. Oh, you know what? I bet I know what it's gonna do. Uh, no? Oh, it's doing something? Oh yeah. I was right. <laughs> that is awesome. 
Like, isn't that just so cool, though? They really get creative with bursts, you know? They don't do that for every synergy. I mean, they couldn't, really. There's definitely some that they neglect a little bit, but still, every time I see something like that, it's just so worth it. Oh? Do I have growth? Do I- I don't even want to think about what I would need- I might need to go through to get growth on someone right now. Uh, actually no, it shouldn't be that bad. If I just turn a few genie off of Shiba, she will have it. I just need to stand here. Uh, you do not have it right now, but if I turn off these guys... Suddenly, no, you still don't have growth. Okay, turn off a few more of these guys. Growth! And then put them right back on. Okay, is there anything actually... Well, there's totally is. Uh, this is the most likely one to actually be... Oh, I can't even bloody go that way. Okay, then. Oh, what's down here? It's probably that box from earlier. Yep. It is really an oil drop. Well, you know, I'm I'm literally just going to throw that out. Also, I'll be a little bit sad if I have to cast growth a second time. I did kind of just, you know, let's give this to Isaac. He doesn't have any healing items. There, now you have a healing item. Isaac, much better. Oh, more growth, I guess. But first, the power of burst. Oh, it totally went away. Man, that is... that's annoying. Oh... oh! Oh, these guys summon more of themselves. I think. I kind of screwed up that, didn't I? I mean, that one didn't. But, you know, it doesn't really matter. They are... they summon more of themselves, but they aren't actually worth that much as far as I... If I recall correctly. Well, I mean, that's actually a respectable amount. There's only two of them. Hmm. Anyway. Is, is three enough? Three is enough. Okay. Uh, let's put these back on. Let's cast Wish Well. And let's climb up here. What even is up here? Oh, looks like I picked the correct side. Well, there's a thing that j for jumping down. That's here. Okay. Well, I guess I'll blow up the thing then. Looks like I just did this more or less in the correct order. Cool. Because I'm pretty sure I need to do that in order to get up there from the next one. And then the one on the furthest left probably goes directly up there. But, well... That wouldn't do me any good because because it's blocked. I'm just checking. Oh, okay, there's no box. So I need to use growth again. Incidentally, if you're not doing crazy synergy things like I am, I would suggest just put a single Earth Ginny on Shiva for this part and set it on and off to pe just for when you need growth. Or I guess you could just make her Mono Earth. That would work too. E either way. Either way, let's get up here. Take your sweet time, why don't you? I mean, I guess it's good that it gives me plenty of time. I mean... I do sort of need to be actually be up there before it goes off, so... Is there anything to the left of here? Uh, there's definitely something here. Ooh, this thing. This thing is important. That thing... is... I don't think it's the exact breed, but it is related to basically the best XP grinding mechanism in the game. Because it does that. It acts twice. It revives 
other monsters. And although it doesn't do this, uh, its cousin, the Firebird, I'm pretty sure can summon more of itself. There is a certain place in the game, and it's worth tons of experience, is the other thing. There are places in the game where you can fight two or three of those in the same battle, they will revive each other, and each time you kill one, you get the same amount of experience, you get an experience drop from it. You can get huge amounts of experience from single battles using that method. Having said that, I don't remember where this actually appear, so I'll sort of just be watching out for that. Okay, it just blew itself up. That's annoying. Uh, ooh, there's a thing. Oh, money. Just money. That's a little... A little bit underwhelming. Do it like that, and that, and that, and that. Um, hmm. Still. Firebird is the best, but Phoenix is still really damn good. It still gives you ma- it still regenerates other monsters, and it still gives you massive experience points. So, you know, you can't really go wrong with it. You can do more right, but you can't do really do wrong with it. Well, I guess you could if you went overboard and got yourself killed, but, I mean, it's not really that strong. If you're being responsible, you shouldn't not be killed in that sort of situation. I kind of wish that this was not a ladder. I kind of wish it just went all the way up. I feel like I could have done that. It would have saved a few seconds. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it would have been nice. Damn it. Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna go back to the other side, perhaps? Because I feel like this is probably the way to progress way. Which tells me I want to know what what happens if I climb further up on, on towards the right. Because this is like a whole area. And it wouldn't be a whole area if it was just a si little side area, you know? So, let's look what's over there. What happens if I go up? Okay, the way it's blocked. I mean, I don't know what I was really expecting, but I probably should have expected that. Hmm. I guess they resist fire a lot, because that did... Hardly any damage, dude. I mean, I am, am in Magma Rock, so it stands to reason they would resist fire. And I think those things have really high physical defense as well. Combine those two together, and Aztec's Unleash may actually do less damage than his regular attack would. Let's see... Lash! Also, what the hell is over here? Oh, I see. I see. But that's kind of... The timing on this one is going to be a little bit tight. No, not you. I want you. Burst! Then jump down here, over here, climb up here. And then jump out of here. Yeah, that wasn't that tight. I think they gave me a little bit more time on this one. Just to make sure I could... It would be okay. But if you fell down, you would not get that. Hmm. Push that there. Now that I have, now I have a shortcut. And also, I can go up here. There is nothing here. This is the way down, maybe? Hmm. Well, whatever the case. Ooh, there's a box there. I'm gonna need to try to remember it's there. In any, in any case, I think I'm gonna stop up here. So join me next time when we do more stuff in Magma Rock. Until then, this has been Golden Sun, and have a... Damn it, I was doing my outro, Raging Rocks! We don't have time for this! 
I mean, now I need to finish the battle because I haven't waved yet. Just, yeah. Isaac's regular attack actually does deal more damage. Also, I need to heal. Uh, in any case, until next time, bye! <laughs>